we're seeing a massive movement across the globe at the moment and everybody's trying to go off the grid. Well, they're trying to organise uh, movements for co-op retreats and um, things outside the system. Um, these are really good things and I'm all for them by all means, right? I will promote them on my page. If you're in, in some sort of retreat or co-op and you're trying to get away out of the system, I'm all for it. But I want people to be a little bit vigilant and realise that um, all this love and light and full-on positivity is good, but you have to be vigilant. You have to be very vigilant because rest assured, if you're going to organise a co-op and you're going to start hurting the local businesses, once you've taken $2 million out of the local business, although the locals themselves will probably be involved in your co-op and that's a good thing, the Zionist system will start coming for you. They're going to hurt you. They're going to put laws in place, okay? Um, now, whether you're working at a scale of 10 people or just the family off the grid or you want to have um, a massive farming co-op co -op with, uh, you know, 30 or 40 farms in a, whole, in a whole village, that's excellent. I'm all for it. But be vigilant, people, okay? Because I'll give you an example. Gaddafi himself, who of the, the president of Libya. Um, he was a person who was trying to unite Africa. He had billions of dollars. He had a standing army. He had connections with people all over Europe. His children had gone to school in England, right? He was a man with many connections. And yet when, as soon as they found that he wanted to put a gold standard on his currency and start uniting all of Africa, because they know how, how resource-rich Africa is, well, you know, we all know the story. They killed him, okay? So don't be scared to analyse every aspect of your co-op and be very detailed and always look for every, every angle because, you know, the elite have been doing this for generations and um, they don't flinch for nobody. And if you get in their way, <clears throat> you know what's going to happen. It's not fear. It's not fear. I'm telling you to be vigilant, be smart, be intelligent, be wise, be cautious, okay?